talking about a company right now that had, I mean, had production lines, had had massive assets. Yes, it had enormous liabilities. By the way, mostly pensions, but it, it did have assets in a structured bankruptcy or even a pre-packaged bankruptcy. The assembly lines could have kept going. Absolutely. They could have kept producing cars. Yes. There was value there. The idea because that's the myth that's being per perpetuated. Had it not been for President Obama, it disappears, what, right? It and Mitt Romney wanted it to disappear. That's the myth that I want to that I want to rebut. Right. Is well, how Mitt Romney disappear? wanted it to how go bankrupt? That, that ignores, bankrupt. Who's that making ignores cars for this? Who's right. making cars? Right. And that would ignore you can't bankruptcy. Just stop making cars. But I do have a question. I talked uh, at the time with a graduate student who was who studies the uh, the auto market and was going to be going to work for Mercedes. And the argument he made to me, which was the one possibly persuasive argument for to me for bailing out uh, GM was that if GM were to reduce the prices on its lineup of cars that those would then drive down prices for other cars so for example whatever's GM's most luxurious car they drop the price ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars that means Mercedes has to do that and BMW has to do that in order to be competitive with these luxury automobiles so in a certain sense he was saying there would have been this domino effect that could have been very deleterious to the rest I of the disagree auto market because it wasn't the pricing it was a the fact they made bad products they right. did not make vehicles right. mm -hmm. people wanted right. they're making SUVs at a time when people wanted well, so uh, and their labor costs cars. were too expensive exactly. that was the so let's issue. take that theory and go forward because the theme from the DNC stage also was that it worked. GM is, al is yeah. alive and Osama bin Laden is dead. <clears throat> and I have forwarded this several times. You are calling the game in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. How is it possible for you to argue that it worked? Under what definition of worked are you operating? Because today, if we put up GM stock prices, currently GM stock price closed today at $22.98. In order for the taxpayer to be made whole, that price would have to more than double to $51 for the taxpayer to get his money back. I made this argument to Ratner, and I'm going to tell you what the response was. The taxpayer getting their money back was never part of the deal. I'm just interesting because <laughs> really? that's a huge <laughs> distinction. People were very upset about the bank bailouts, which a lot of people on both sides of the aisle have made the argument that that would have seized up the credit markets entirely, and we could have had a real cataclysm. That money has largely been paid back to the taxpayer, actually. That money has been restored. Right. At a profit. Whether you, so. at, at a profit, whether you disagree with it in principle or not. The, the, auto, I mean, the, uh, the GM bailout, though, is a completely different matter because they not only did they invest the money, but they had a very interesting hand in how the money went, who the money went, to. Well, it became very political and very partisan if the in that process. It wasn't just about finding the capital to keep it alive. It was about making sure that certain parties, certain cronies, got what they were supposed to get. So there you go. So if get. the taxpayer was never supposed to be paid back, why were they bailed out? What was the purpose of the bailout? What's the definition of a success? One million jobs, right? Now we're, we're That's a that, that bogus save, number. Save one million jobs. That 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 is yeah. That is such a bogus number. But you're right. If the point was to save these companies, to save America, to save the American manufacturing, that really we should be making money off that. We're losing money. We're down over 50% on the investment. So basically, the government became a private mm -hmm. equity firm. Instead of letting the private mm -hmm. market, the government said, we're going to be a private and equity firm. And they were a bad private And we're going to use all of our money. money. They, they, were, they were a bad private equity firm. With your firm. money, Buck. By the way, they did close down dealerships. They closed down factories. There were all kinds of people who got a haircut, just not the UAW. And at the end of the day, would it really have been catastrophic if GM were bought by foreign companies or competing car companies to say, we're going to take this part, we like this part, it has like value, etc. Exactly. exactly. Would let that have been a, a disaster? Let me give you the, the argument that, I'm sorry. Unions, yes. I mean, the argument that Ratner gave for why the GM was bailed out, why do we bail out the auto companies? Because you forwarded this concept that I think it was Harry Reid talked about. They're an important, iconic industry, yeah. right? Or employment, that it's a million jobs. Mm -hmm. I said, distinguish GM from me from Hostess. Twinkies, not mm -hmm. doing so well. They're going out of business. Kodak's not doing so well. Why autos and not these others? He said, it's not about employment. It's not about iconic status. He said, because the auto industry is a going concern. It's a good business. The free market failed. They didn't have liquidation. And I said, Really? Didn't Chrysler get bailed out in the 80s? So is Nissan a bailout, is, is is a bailout every 30 years a good business? And he goes, it's not so bad. Will, is that a fancy? <laughs> was he giving you a fancy not answer? Not so bad. Is that a wow. fancy answer for politics? That sounds wow. like a fancy yeah. Well, that's the true politics. answer, Buck, right. because they can't really, with a straight face, right. which but, but, he did but, say, bail out, a bailout every 30 years isn't so bad. The truth is, politics, politics is the measure of success. And let's face it. My parents have a Honda in their garage. Americans are perfectly happy to drive foreign cars that are made by the Japanese or the Koreans or the Chinese or whomever. And while we like this made in the USA label. You tell that to all the But many of them are made in the United States and they're making money and they're doing fine. But if politics is a measure of success, did they succeed? Yes. I think so. And 